just the one, the only, my big sister, Denise Johnson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank now, who's ready for a story? <laughs> Can you please read Cinderella? And then the prince lifted Cinderella, all covered in ash, onto his white horse and brought her to the castle, where they got married and lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. She ran from him? Yeah, twice. Yeah, twice. And even when he came to her house, she was still waiting to get called upon to try on the shoe? Uh, well, he saved her from her horrible life and her wretched stepmother. If that were me and I was granted a trip to the ball in a pumpkin with mice that turn into horses, I would have seized that opportunity the first time. And who does he think he is going into her house? She left him twice. Read the writing on the wall. My issue with it is that the wicked stepmother tries to cut off the toes and heels of her daughter just to make the shoe fit, all while keeping Cinderella cleaning the house the whole time. Why do we, as women, have to hold each other back? Can't we just elevate one another to a higher emotional level instead of focusing on the confines that society puts on us? I agree, Roberta. And going back to the beginning, I wonder why we always need a fairy godmother to fix our lives. We are in control. We have the power to be the girls we want to be. Yeah! 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 Now, who wants to watch Frozen? 